So what's the word? It's the unbiased fan. Worm Reaper. Crawford spoke to the world last night. How does everybody feel about it? We know Spence fans are going to say, all cap, all cap. Bud fans like, I told you, I told you. Well, let's read between the lines and see what we got here. All right, so for the most part, everything that was stated was a lot of things that we had already been talking about in regards to no guarantee, right? So there was no guaranteed money. Um, the 35% is not 100% confirmed, but we know it was lower than the other contracts from previous fighters dispenses had. Um, then we know that the revised contract or revised term sheet wasn't sent to like 35 days after the initial request for the transparency. Then we got the dynamic of the $25 million each for each fighter, which is very possible um, because, you know, Bud is close to Warren Buffett. $25 to Warren Buffett is like 100 bucks to us, you know, not a lot, a little something shum. Um, there's a lot we could take from it. End of the day, what I take from it is Spence doesn't run his own show. He has to go to his advisors, Al Heyman. Al Heyman wasn't really set on giving Bud a great deal. And I still believe that PBC had no intention for this fight to happen in 2022. I'm not saying that they don't want the fight at all. But I don't think they had any intention for the fight to happen this year. I think the intention was for next year. Um, it's a lot of things you can digest. You know... Maybe Earl say something, I fairly doubt it. But um end of the day, we don't have a fight. Um, there's so many dynamics, you know. For me, I can't call Bud a duck because the terms of the term sheet just was weak, bro. Like, I've been stating forever, why can we get a Porter or a Danny Garcia type of deal? Straight down the line, 60-40, you know, cert, uh, you know, a respectable guarantee. Didn't have to be $10 million. Could have been three or four, you know, like some of the other guys have gotten. But that didn't happen. And I that didn't happen because I believe PPC wanted to fight for 2023. I mean, there's so many things to, to, to try to digest. And people who hate Crawford... It's going to say it's all cap. People who are 100% on crop side is going to say, I told you so, I told you so. And I would say I'm in the middle, but I'm probably leaning a little more on the butt side because I know that Spence doesn't run the show. And I've been saying that for months. For months. And, you know, my argument sticks out like a sore thumb now because everything that I was saying is being proven. And I've been saying it adamantly. And I knew it. But... It is what it is, man. Let's talk about the fights we are going to get, though. So, you know, just a quick recap from the weekend fights. Loma slid through barely. Ortiz had a great account of himself, and he can possibly be the build from that. So, Haney moving like a real champion should, walking in the ring, telling him I want to fight. Haney, Haney, Haney is definitely... Uh, Doing the sport of boxing justice by the way he's moving currently. Uh, Katie Ter Taylor did not get the knockout I thought, but she got the unanimous, you know, clear decision. Zapata, whoa, you spanked Jojo Diaz. I ain't expect you to spank him. I knew you had a chance, but you spanked him. Salute to you for that. And uh, last but not least, I was in, I was entertained by Jake Paul and Anderson Silva. That was an entertaining fight, just to keep it a beam. For what it is, you know. You can't expect Jake Paul to be fighting the top notch yet. It's only a sixth fight. But I respect him because he respects the craft. And with that noted, I'm Bias out. God bless. Till next time.